Hey guys, welcome to today's episode of Side Street Customs Garage. Of course, we're here in my garage. And today's episode, which is my first episode on YouTube posting, I've been on Instagram for a while, at Side Street underscore Customs. And in today's episode, I'm focusing on a 64 Impala SS build that I'm currently working on. And I've epoxy primer this, I put it in high build primer. I've let it sit for about a week to kind of let everything cure out and let it shrink. Um, so I know kind of where we are. I've already sprayed this in guide coat. And so what I want to do is I want to focus on this middle section to this body line right here. I don't know if you can see the green laser line and I've got a level here to make sure that everything's level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock this guide coat down and see what my highs and lows are. And then I'm going to tape off the body line using a laser and I'm going to come right below it. And what I want to do is I want to redefine this body line. On a lot of these classic cars, people have done body work over time. They've run grinders and sanders over them. They've kind of rounded off these edges and they kind of start to lose that crisp line that they had that made them so distinctive back in the 60s. So what I'll do is I'll use this laser level and I'll tape just below this and I'll kind of flood the area with body filler and I'll work it right to the line then I'll sand it to bring a line back. And I'll touch on flooding the area a little bit later but it's kind of a method of how I come in with, with filler and just kind of go over the whole area. Kind of just flood the area. And then as I start to work the body filler off or kind of dry the area out, if you think about it like water, wherever there were low spots, you know, that's where it'll fill in at. So pretty much I'll show you how I use filler, how I mix it, how I weigh filler, and I'll come in and flood this whole area. And we're gonna focus on right here. So even though I'm working on one piece of a car, not the whole car right now, I still break it down into digestible chunks or sections that I can work on so that I don't get overwhelmed with it and I can kind of work it at a speed and a process that allows me to work through it. I only do this part time, so I have to sneak in an hour or two here. That's why I break it down in ways that I can work on it. So um, what we're gonna do now is I've got a couple different size sanding blocks here, which you'll see. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a block on this and start knocking it down in this area and you will see where the low spots are. I'll move this level. So as I begin working this area, I will start off with my electric palm sander or my DA. And because this is the first round of high build, I really kind of just want to run over and find the highs and lows, kind of speed up the process, speed up the work. This first time knocking a guide coat down is not as important as I start to get through some of the second and third rounds of guide coating and, and body working. I will use electric. I'll knock this down, speed everything up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that and start working this, and then we'll go from there.
see, um, I've got a few hot spots where I burnt through right here to the epoxy. Here I hit a little metal, this area I hit a little bit of metal. Here you can see where I previously welded shut the body hole, the body line. I shaved the molding so I had the holes, so I punched out plugs and I welded those in. So you can see where I haven't body worked those yet, so you can see where each one of those holes were. But overall this panel is actually pretty straight. So what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a really, really long block and I'm going to go ahead and go by hand and go over it. Just to clean it up. Fiber towel, give that a good wipe down. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how this is coming out. Um, not a really, really wavy panel at all. Of course, like I said, while I welded holes, I've naturally got those areas to fill couple high spots so I can work those in. So next what I'll do is I'm going to go and set up my laser level and get this panel level. Then I'll come through with my uh, my masking tape and tape off that line. Then I'll mix up some filler and show you how I'm going to come and lay the filler in this and, and begin to work this body work this area. So uh, what I'm gonna do is let me put you, no, I won't put you on pause. Let's go ahead and set up our level and get this panel leveled up. So I do a couple things. So one, I go old school. I use a regular level and it's sitting pretty good there. Then I come and I've got a digital and I'm gonna kill a light to show you how this works. So as you see now I've got a digital and in my digital you can see that green line. So what I'll do now is I'll line that green line up with that body line and I'll go ahead and take that off and then that's where I'll begin to work the area where you see the light gray where I cleaned it up at. This end, we are really, really good on that body line. Gotta do some tweaking down here. My label left, label left, my level up top tells me I got off. microfibers here. I need to come up a little bit right here. And that has got me pretty darn close to solid down that line. So now you can see where I'm going to lay my masking tape just below this line. And We'll start to fit this up. So now you see where that line is. You see where I tape I'm hitting just on top of that line. Same thing on this side. 
bring that panel up just a little bit. There we go. I like that a lot. Now you can see where that masking tape is. Um, a little high here when I pull it down. And this is why I do this, guys. Um, the laser doesn't lie. There's my line. I'm a little bit off of it. Much better. Now everything's on that line. I'm running true all the way across. That's a really good line. So let me step back. So now you can see that body line. So yeah, we're definitely gonna go ahead. We're gonna put some on here. I'm probably gonna have to do a couple batches cause I don't wanna go too heavy. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to kind of work this. No reason getting the hair in here. All right, so right now we are at a number of 231.8. So I'll take a calculator. I'll go 231.8 divided by 50, that gives me 4.636. So go 231.8, divide by five zero, 4.636. So I know I gotta come in here and go 4.636. So what I'll do is, I'll tear this out and total it out again, and zero it, and now I come in, I'll go 4.636. Three, four, five, six, booyah, there we go. Exact amount of body filler I need, hardener I need for this amount of body filler. Mix this up, let me mix this up, then I'll show you how I get this on the board, onto the panel, and we'll go from there. So I'm basically trying to work this so I get one uniform color, spread it out. This way, if I keep kinda, I work a figure eight pattern, kind of cuts down on the air holes. Um, this stuff doesn't get many holes at all, nor does it sag, so it actually goes pretty good. You'll see when I start to lay it. I'm actually starting to like the look of this. I got a little bit in the middle I gotta work. Um, spread some of that out. Work it back. I like that a lot. Ooh, y'all. All right, move my camera for you. All right, now I got to turn back on. We're gonna come in here and I'm gonna show you how I do the whole body filler thing, working kind of quick. Don't want this to set up on me. This is a very big panel, so I probably won't get it all in one. I have to mix it a few times, which is okay. That prevents me from using too much filler and wasting some. I end up throwing it in the trash can, so um, which is super cool. Take your time. There's no reason to get into a hair with this. Um, get a little bit more on here. I'm gonna get this board pretty clean. Using all of the material, not wasting anything. So now that I got that, I switch over to my longer one. This is a tool I like to use. And it's just kind of a catch and pull method. Give me a nice skim all the way across. Take some of that filler there. Nice. 
nice, nice, nice. These long ones are such huge time savers, guys, when it comes to really pulling out material and getting this panel covered. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit heavier next time, but I need to put a little bit more material on it. But you can definitely see how much easier this is to spread and work the filler. So I'm gonna stop for a second and I'm gonna let that sit and I'll. So I'm gonna clean my tools up right quick, but as you guys can see, I'm not going super heavy on this filler. Um, I should have mixed a little bit more in this batch and put a little heavy so I could smooth it out. But um, based on temperature and how much I mix to let it flow, I'll actually kind of uh, add a little bit more to fill it this time and go a little bit lighter on the hardener just because I want to to get it to flow out a little bit better. But it's not super heavy, skimming it across. Quick tip, um, when cleaning putty spreaders, my number one go-to is brake parts cleaner. Spread, spread a little bit on the thing and wipe it right off, cleaned it up. You don't have to sit there and scrape with a razor and stuff and overdo it. Really clean the spreader up. Super, super cheap and easy way to do it. Instead of sitting trying to scrape it and scrape it and damaging the edges of it, give you a really, really clean spreader. So we got that done. I'm gonna mix up some more filler, cut you back on, then we'll spread some more. All right guys, got you cut back on. We are going to lay down some more filler and work this thing on out. So what I did on this batch is I cooled it down a little bit or I didn't mix it so hot, give myself a little bit more working time with this one, um, which would give me a little more time to spread it out and work it in. I'm also coming in a little bit heavier at the top to give myself a little bit more room to skim with, um, which will still make a huge difference. Push them a little hard, guys. Not an exact science of this, but hey, let's just stop that right there before that gets too dry. We'll pull this a little bit and work that in. But we are slowly getting there. One more run and we'll have this cleaned up, ready to go. Let's go clean these up and then I'll come right back to you. Mitch, this should let me finish this corner down here, then go ahead and put a little bit more on those edges. Well, I let this cure out and then start to uh, start to work it.
slide. I'm gonna get my long spreader and we'll go here. That's gonna do it right there. We got a good coat on here, skim coat. Next, what we're gonna do is let this cure out. Next is, I'm about to come in with my DA with some 80 grit on it, and I'm gonna knock down these highs before I come in with the block so I can just kind of speed up the process. So, some areas where I've got some highs, knock those down, knock down some of the edges, and then I'll work this thing down and smooth out this whole. I'll knock down the edges, knock off the highs, then I'll guide coat it. So I'm going to guide coat directly on my body filler to kind of save myself a step of going body filler, then going primer, waiting on that to dry, guide coating that, then doing it. I'll just guide coat the body filler first. Then I'll work the body filler down, but first I'm going to knock off some of these high spots. pretty straight. I've got a guide coat on. I've kind of feathered the edges so that I don't have to build those down. And of course we use our laser level and our level to get this, the, the trim line. So we're working down to this line to rebuild it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in with my kind of stiffer block. I've got some longer dura blocks as well and I'm going to hit this with all these blocks. But what I want to do now is start knocking off this guide coat to see where my lows and highs are and see if, uh, you know, where I have to come in and add some body filler, where I have some dinks and dings I gotta work. So this is not a super fast process. This is when you're kind of finessing it and refining it. And you know, anytime you're starting to hit through that first guide coat and work it down, it likes to gum up the sandpaper until you get the guide coat off. So um, we'll start hitting it.
as you can see, this guide coat's coming off really well. Where you see some black is where um, there are some low spots. So, or I have to have it hit it. So I actually got to just kind of keep working it and I'll get it to you see no more black left. And where there are a little bit of traces of black, I'll come in and skim coat into it and we'll work it. So I'm going to keep on working through it and um, I'm going to get this held up. So I'm starting to hit my metal here, so I know that, you know, I'm getting it worked in flush. I'm looking good down here, close to where I am. I'm gonna work my body line, I'm getting all that off. I'm a little bit high here and a little low here, so I know I need to work this down to get rid of the black here. So now we see I'm starting to lose that black, so I'm starting to get that leveled off as well. I'll just continue to work on this panel and keep, we'll keep working it. Come around this side. Really happy. This panel is smoothing out really, really well. Um, I can feel a couple of areas. I, you know, I got to keep working them. But overall, you see the black is going away the guide coat, so that we know we're getting this panel level. Now I just keep working down. Let me put you on pause. I clean this up. Then I'll re guide coat and show you what we got. All right, guys, turning you back on. Um, I did a little bit of work off camera. I guide coated it. Came in with some uh, basically some 180. And I've been blocking this thing for a while. And you tell a couple of hot spots there. There's a hot spot there. 
um, got this blended in. You can tell where my body line was actually wavy that had highs and lows and where I've hit a couple of hot spots. So that tells you that it kind of had a curve to it. Um, but overall, things look pretty smooth to the neck and I had a little bit of a high there. So now that I've got it at this point, I'm gonna guide coat it again. And then I'm gonna come back and block it again to see where the highs and lows are. And of course I have some of the obvious pinholes. I need to put a little filler in a couple spots right here. But the biggest thing I wanna do right now before I do that is get another guide coat on it, then block that off, then come back in and use a little bit of glazing putty and some of the pinholes in other areas and then work it again. So let's get another coat of guide coat on this and then we'll, we'll knock that off really fast. Yeah, so overall, you know, spend a little time not rushing through this. Very, very pleased with what I'm coming up with. Like I said, this is why I came in and flooded the whole area. So now I can see where my highs are. I can see where this thing had been curved and worked on. And I just got filler there and just worked it. And it's a very thin amount. I mean, you look at the ground, there's fill everywhere. There's pretty much a little cloud floating around in here. But that's the way you do it. Don't just try to fit in dib and dab a spot. Just take your time and work the whole panel and smooth the whole thing. And then just keep working through the body panel, then work through the car. So we'll give this a little bit of time to dry, flash off, then I'll come back in. We'll hit it with some 180, find whatever low spots we find. Then we'll fill those and come back and block it out again. Nice little wet check. You know, wet check is kind of like having a clip. Once you get a gloss or a shine on it, you can really see any imperfections. And this thing, man, is slick. I am really, really happy with where we are in terms of this part of the body panel. Um, wipe this down, hit it with the air dryer, kind of get it dried out, and put these glaze and put it on these spots that I got to work and get in another coat of high bill.
Uh, so after a lot of working, we've got this thing blocked down. It's straight. I've got coated it probably three times and blocked it. So now we've worked the line. You can kind of see where the tape line is just peeking through. So what I'll come through now is go and pull that tape off and then we'll relay the check it and it should be pretty darn straight. So there it is guys. So now you see we've worked this and we've reestablished a really hard crisp body line. So now what I'll do when I get ready to work this panel, I'll lay my line down right on top of this one and bring my filler up to here and get me a super clean crisp line. But this panel right here is extremely true and extremely straight. It's been worked and guide coated several times. I'm extremely happy with it. A um, couple little tiny, tiny pinholes but I'll put about two more coats of high bill primer on here, block that down, then hit it with some uh, sealer and it will be ready to spray. Bring you guys in on a tight focus and you can definitely see where that line is laid. Um, dropped it right on that line, solid, straight. Everything's level, really, really pleased with this job. And that's how, you know, a guy at home can take a later level a regular standard level and some masking tape and get really, really straight lines and bring creases back. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll try to get a couple more angles of it. Thanks for joining. Um, hope you guys learned a lot. I'll try to uh, come with part two and show you how I work the bottom part, but enjoy part one. My plan in 2022 is to start bringing content weekly. Let you guys follow this build. Um, taking my Instagram page and exploring it, pushing it further, creating more content, more insider tips, just kind of letting you guys see how my brain works, how I think, how I process, and how you can do it in your garage, your home, your backyard. Doesn't take a lot, just take a little bit of thinking, some creative thinking, and basically just a lot of elbow and working. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, go to at sidestreet underscore customs.com on Instagram. Follow and like there as well, and I'll keep on bringing content. Let me know what you guys think. In the